Now let's continue our look at layers and we will do so by now talking about how to organize our layers just a little bit better and work with things in an easier fashion. So in the last one, if you remember, we did talk about how to select and auto-select those particular layers that we had available. But you'll notice when you create new layers, what's going to happen is by default they're just going to be called layer 0, layer 1, layer 2. And if you already envision that that would be rather confusing, you're absolutely correct. When you have, you know, over you know, 500 different layers or something like that. That's a little overzealous, I must admit. But even if you had 50 layers to deal with, well, that's really going to be problematic should you choose to continue with this simplistic naming convention. So the best thing for you to do is to actually rename those layers. For example, layer 0 is fine because, you know, it's the base layer. You don't really have to rename that. But if you wanted to, you just have to double click on the actual layer itself. And I could call this the BG or background layer. And then this, you know, I could just double click this and say black brush perhaps would be good and I could call this the red brush just by doing this and you'll notice that there's some other things that we can do with these particular layers as we go around creating them and doing different things with them up to this point I've been able to show you yes you just have to click and move around one of these layers in that fashion but notice with this ever versatile black arrow tool, the move tool. I could also click and drag, but let's see what happened here. When I clicked and dragged, it actually selected the background layer and moved it. Command Z will bring it back. So there's often times when there are certain layers that you would like to lock. So in this case, I could come up here with this layer selected and click on the little padlock icon right there. Notice now that this layer will not be able to be selected. However, that allows me to now mark key in this area. So if I wanted to, with the move tool, I could click and drag. And notice, as you click and drag, take a look at what's happening over here. Notice only the red is selected. As soon as I come into the black, ah, the black is selected. You don't even have to select the whole thing. Notice, I'm just coming in here and just including in my marquee selection just a little bit of both but that selects both of them and now I can move both of them together. So that's one way that you could select things together. You could also click on one and then shift click on another and that'll allow you to select. Or if you wanted to you know select more than one here let me create another layer here which I'll call green brush and then I will click on my colors over here and I'll just grab something green maybe something a little bit more noticeable and with my brush tool just gonna come in here and squiggle around some green lines so that's on the green brush layer now let's just say I wanted to select more than one at a time well we certainly saw that we could just marquee and all three will be selected at the same time however what if I only wanted to select one and another well you could click on one here the black one is selected and I could shift click on yet another so notice even though the red is in between those two I was able to select just the two that I wanted and the red stays put just by moving around like that which is great and again an easy thing to do over here as well what if I want to select all well we said shift click okay I'm just gonna come back and click on the green what if I want just the green and the black Press Command, and you'll click just those two. And notice you'll be able to move just those two. And that's really fantastic, easy enough to work with. Now, what if I wanted to move around the particular stacking order of this little layer palette here? For example, what if I wanted the red brush on top of the green brush? So I'll just drag it and place it on top. Notice now the red is on top of the green. What about putting the black on top of the red? there you go so it's really easy to move around these brushes and move them around and do different things with them and select them and move them either individually or as a group just by doing things like that so it really makes it quite easy for you to work and keep things together in track but as you'll see in the next 
video tutorial, there's a few more things that we're going to have to discuss when it comes to layers and what we can do with them. So we'll come back and do that in just a second.